I love the rich and decadent cocktails of the holiday season. Eggnog and flips are my favorite drinks this time of year, but they can tend to be a little bit heavy. Last year, I covered the traditional eggnog and also a vegan eggnog that's a little lighter and dairy-free. This year though, I wanted to try something different. Something that has the richness of a flip, but light and fluffy. It's inspired by a London fog, which is essentially an Earl Grey tea latte. For this London Fog cocktail, I'll be using a blended scotch, Earl Grey tea syrup, cream, lemon and orange juice, a full egg, and soda water. But before we dive into making this drink, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you like these kinds of videos. It really helps out my channel. For special equipment, I'll be using an ISI cream whipper, but you can totally make this without it. My London Fog cocktail is modeled after a Ramos Gin Fizz, which, if you're familiar with it, needs to be shaken for a really long time. The ISI omits the shaking altogether and produces the fluffiest foam. First thing I'll have to do is make the Earl Grey syrup. I'll steep one teaspoon of Earl Grey tea in a half a cup of hot water for five minutes. Once it's finished steeping, I'll remove the tea leaves and combine the tea with equal parts sugar and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla paste. Once the sugar has dissolved, I'll let it cool to room temperature and then let it chill in the refrigerator until it's cold. I'll also need a half ounce of lemon juice as well as a half ounce of orange juice. One last preparation is to freeze the glass. This will help support the foam and help it to stand tall. Once the syrup has cooled and the citrus has been juiced, we can build this whole drink in the ISI whipper. First, I'll add three quarter ounce of the Earl Grey syrup, half an ounce of orange juice, half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of cream, one drop of bergamot extract to bump up the flavor of the Earl Grey tea, two ounces of blended scotch. I'm using monkey shoulder. I really like the way it complements the tea and vanilla in the syrup. Lastly, I will add a full egg. I originally wanted to only use egg white, but I accidentally broke the yolk while cracking the egg. I've tried both variations, and I really like the one with the full egg better. It gives a richer texture and makes it feel more festive. Once all of the ingredients have been added, I'll screw on the lid and charge the whipper with the nitrogen cartridge. I'll give the cream whipper a few good shakes to incorporate, and then let it sit for a minute or two. Then I'll add an ounce of club soda to my frozen glass. Now, I'll just pull the trigger on the cream whipper directly into the glass. I'm actually going to set this back into the freezer for a minute to solidify a bit. Once the glass is nice and icy, I'll top it off with some more soda water. As to not disturb the foam, you can place your bar spoon upside down into the drink, touching the bottom of the glass, and then carefully pour the soda down the spoon. This is such a great cold weather alternative to a Ramos Gin Fizz or Morning Glory Fizz. The scotch, cream, and egg lend a creamy custard flavor to the drink, but the citrus elements and effervescence from the soda cut through to make it feel a bit lighter. The cream itself is also delicious on its own. I highly recommend giving this London Fog Cocktail a try. If you like these kinds of drinks and want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. I have a lot more planned for 2022 and can't wait to share it with all of you. And if you haven't yet, please head over to thewepearl.com to sign up to be notified when it goes live, which will hopefully be this coming week. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a happy and healthy holiday, and I'll see you all back here in 2022.